So how do you feel on your 21st birthday? Not a day in paradise. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I got you a present. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. You want me to get it? Please. Okay. Okay, do I come with you? Do I come with you? You can come with me. Okay. Try not it's not a new car, just so you know. Yeah, it's fine. I like my car. I like having a beater. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special Southwest homecoming this evening. Solution for all your marketing needs. Year Staff Sergeant Nikita Newton has returned home tonight from a one-year tour at Osan Air Force Base in Korea. She has been in the Air Force for 11 proud years and has been deployed multiple times overseas. Her children, tonight's contestants, Cedric and Angelina, have been living with their aunt and uncle for over the past year, but they will rejoin their mother for her next tour in Japan later this month. Welcome home, Staff Sergeant Nequita Newton, and congratulations, Cedric and Angelina, both winners in tonight's Dick Sporting Goods Dizzy Bat Race. Here's to the beer that has always been there. Here's to Budweiser. Here's to baseball. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. Enjoy responsibly. Budweiser Beer and Hyper Bush, St. Louis, Missouri. son, Dave, is back after eight months in the Mediterranean. Let's see how our dog Mystic reacts. This is four years after the first time where she greeted him coming through this door. No, hey, puppy, puppy, who's this? Hi, puppy. Doggies never forget. Good girl. The school in Oak Harbor was part of a top secret military assignment today. It involved hiding a chief from the military and sneaking him around from classroom to classroom. Combo Force Lindsay Cohen reports by the end of the day, it was mission accomplished. Well, we'll get you in there to see him. It's been two decades since Eric Wynn was last called to the principal's right office. The first door there on the right. This time, though, 
it's by choice. I'm on mission right now. The senior chief in the Navy has spent the better part of 20 years serving overseas and launching his latest top secret mission. I'm being told what to do today, <laughs> which is good. I don't mind that at all. He decided to go back to school. It will be a forever moment, won't it be? We don't have those too often, do we? This is Wynn's son, Elijah, a 13-year-old at Oak Harbor Middle School. 26 of the 29 students in his class come from military families. Get to see him again, a little nervous, you know, and, and he's going to feel a little nervous. So when this family learned Eric would be on last-minute leave from Bahrain... Let's go ahead and do this. ...they decided to surprise not just one student, but all of them. Oh, my God. This may be an eighth-grade language arts class. Hey, buddy. But today they're getting a lesson in love. Surprise. Okay. It's super emotional. Um, it's just very exciting to get to see Eric surprise Elijah like this. You doing okay? Yeah. How's your grades? Good. Elijah Wynn entered school today thinking he'd have class and then a basketball game. Okay. That's all I need? Turns out now his biggest cheerleader will be right there in the stands next to him. Uh, he's my biggest fan um, and uh, I'm his hero and that's what dads are supposed to be. Did I surprise you? Yes. In Oak Harbor, Lindsay Cohen, Como 4 News. Eric Wynn has actually been home since Saturday, but he kept a low profile to keep today's visit a surprise. He's on leave until the 31st when he returns for what will likely be his final tour of duty. A Redskins cheerleader got the surprise of her life tonight when her husband, a Marine Corps lieutenant, home early from a tour of duty, dropped in at practice. What was your reaction? My legs turned to jello. <laughs> That's not just from practicing all night. No, it's not. I saw him and I, I just couldn't stand up anymore. He had to hold me up. Lieutenant Denver Edick was in Iraq, then Afghanistan. He wasn't supposed to come home until July, but got to return sooner. While he was away, his wife Kristen earned a prize spot on the Skins cheerleading squad. I'm a very lucky man, obviously. Um, and I, I believe I was more nervous today than I was on our wedding day. So, <laughs> uh, But it's just a, a blessing. Kristen Edick had been practicing all night with her fellow cheerleaders, unaware that her husband was coming. The director was in on the surprise. It's so nice to see these girls, the other side of their lives, because I work with them, you know, just five, six, seven, eight, get in line, and to be able to kind of have a, a window to what her life is like and what it must have been like while he's been away overseas. Um, it was just very touching. Now they plan to hang out, watch a few movies, and Edick says he'll obviously be at all the Redskins games. Take a little vacation, um, a lot of catching up to do, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just uh, not get any further than a couple inches from each other. Are you ready, Okay, so Dad sent this box from Afghanistan for Christmas for Kirsten and Kiernan. Now they get to open it. Kiernan, what do you think's in it? Kirsten, what do you think's in it? A robot unicorn! Okay, open it up. Go over there real slow. Wait for Kirsten. Open the door. Open the door. Ah, wait, I found how to open it. Pull it, Kirsten, pull it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Ça va? On a fait la panique. J'ai une surprise pour vous, les enfants. Quoi? 
On a une, une grosse, grosse surprise pour vous.